I uh, <clears throat> picked up the U-Haul trailer that you can see behind me here and uh, it turns out we got a little bit of snow last night so good thing I haven't changed the winter tires off the truck um, you're joining me now after I've gone to Home Depot um, yeah it was uh, you know you gotta wait in the line you gotta wear your mask you know and uh, fortunately I was able to kind of get in and out but this is my first second trip out this is my second trip out I uh, just picked up like concrete I picked up trowels I picked up mixers I picked up some um, impact wrench bits so that I can use uh, or I should say impact drill bits so that I could start to put this bad boy together but let me show you my literal haul this is not a clothing haul this is not a diaper haul this is just a haul of wood so that's what it looks like kind of from the side so I'm gonna walk around a little bit so you can see what I got here I forgot to mention I also have four 4x4s four and four 2x6s. Yeah, it's a lot of work. All right, so that is load two, done. Load trace. Oh, I need a Red Bull or something. Oh my goodness. All right, product placement. Huh? All right, um, I gotta figure out a plan. Probably was gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy in those four by fours, I'll tell you what. All right, I'll be back. Okay, just picked up 65 bolsters. Need to get some four by four caps for the deck top. Plywood, not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. Whew. Now it's time to go get that out and then come back in for belt sander. And I think I pretty much have everything. How about that? How about that? Good job, man. Good job. And wait. So I've got myself 45 2x4s. I got two. No, I've got four 4x4s for my posts, for my ducking. I got some 2x6s in there by eights. And then I've got my plywood. I'm going to try plywood for decking today. Or not today, but for this project, I'm going to try decking. Um, mainly because I. I think I might be able to save some costs. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Rock Solid. So I'm going to put that on the top of it to help weatherproof it uh, as the decking instead of using maybe like 1x6s. Um, I got myself 65 ballisters to make some nice railings. And right now I'm about to put all this stuff back into here for my third trip. And then I got to go back in for my fourth trip because I got to go find myself a belt sander to make sure that the little kitties don't get slivers. All right. <music> You know what they say, dads only do projects so we can buy new toys. And that's exactly what we have. Look at this beautiful Milwaukee Shockwave Impact Duty Drill Set. Woo! That's gonna be nice. I know, I have our Yobi, but if you ever watch Project Farm, shout out to Project Farm. These are some serious bits. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So, I left that cart that I have there for my, my, my load that I'm unloading right now. I'm on the side of the truck getting a drink of water. And all I hear is like somebody's trying to take my cart. They threw my gloves off the cart. I still had the trailer hitched down. I go walk around. I go, yo, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of my cart. Are you going to throw my gloves on the ground? Like, did you not see the gloves were there? Like some idiot probably just forgot them? Are you kidding me? No, go get your own cart. Get out of here. Unbelievable. Reload up. Time to go get a belt sander. Okay, sad news, friends. That belt sander right there is not in stock, so I'm gonna have to order it online and wait for it to show up at the house. Anyways, all right, so we're going home. We're gonna unload, get the misses in on this one, and maybe the kitties can watch from a deck above. Okay, we're out. There we go. Huh we're out welcome to sunny new york where it's not snowing and it's not cold check out that parallel parking job with the trailer yours truly ex landscaper who's been able to drive trailer all right so let's start figuring out where we're gonna put this stuff 
and let's try to walk so this thing isn't so crazy today. So I'm not bouncing around. I guess I'll hold it like this. I'm trying a new setup here. Got the battery plugged in. Oh yeah, there's the oil tank. Anyways, so yeah, this whole deck is gonna get done. But I'm not worried about that right now. We got uh, a nice local guy who is gonna come here and spruce it up for us. But that's the, that's the tool bench. That's the one that built that cabinet. Man, that was, that was great stuff. So we're gonna have to move that out of there. I'm probably gonna store the wood underneath there because, well, it's protected from the elements. I also got a few tarps. That shed back there just isn't big enough. Um, so probably the next time that you see us, I'll be uh, videotaping. I was probably bringing the, the wood down and setting it underneath, but I've got to do a little setup first. All right, we'll see. Yeah. So one of the things I'm trying to do is is figure out how long I can store this wood in a way where it's not going to get wet. I don't want it to warp, I want it to try to stay relatively decently seasoned so that I can put it on, it doesn't warp, but everything still fits based on the drawings I have. Um, so I, I thought about buying cinder blocks the last time I was at Home Depot in order to stack the wood. So right now I'm going to have to try to figure out a configuration that's going to work so if we ever have to get out of the house still, we can get out of the house downstairs so there isn't an egress issue and uh, still try to keep everything from getting soaking wet over there. Welcome to the May blizzard, and I'm not done yet. Yay! Go blizzard! Go May blizzard! Yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful spring day. It's May 9th. Um, I debated whether I was going to wear shorts today or not, and uh, you know, I I think that I made the wrong choice wearing pants. I think I definitely should have wore shorts. Yeah, it's um. It's such a beautiful day. Look at all this. Look at the precipitation. You know, it's just a little bit, just a little bit bad today. It's not that bad, you know. Typical New York. Just saying. Maybe the universe's IT department is working on the Matrix bug. I don't know, but the Matrix seems a little out of it in 2020. Just saying. turned it into the fluffy stuff. Frosty the snowman. Well, you know what's strange is? Every time my daughter has asked for snow, it has snowed. A little strange. I'm not going to read into that. It's just pure coincidence. But it's happened three times now. And not only that, but it has happened late in the season that she has asked to build a snowball. And that little girl continues to get her wish. Bravo, sweetheart. I couldn't have done it any better. Well, besides this bizarre snowstorm, we're packaged up. And wait for a part Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy-nine, eighty-nine, ninety-nine, hundred. I don't know. We'll see how many this takes. But it's done for today. <laughs>